So I'm going to now start to give a demonstration of column store index behavior. And I had an initial demonstration planned here, which is going to be more oriented towards tuning, but I, I'm going to try to go back to an older demo. Hang on a second here. All right, right now I'm showing Management Studio, and I'm um, running a query in a database called Movlia 100M. Rachel, can you see the, the screen with the demo? I can, yes. Okay. So, this is a data warehouse database, and if you go over here and you look in the tables list on the left, you'll see that we have a whole bunch of tables. Um, the, the one that's most important for this demo is purchase. And purchase is a fact table. So you'll see right here it's got 101 million rows. The row count is 101 million. So it's a pretty big table, and this is running on my desktop PC, so this is not a huge machine. It's a four-core machine with hyper-threading turned on, so it has eight logical cores and has 12 gigs of, of RAM. So it's a pretty good PC, but it's not a huge machine. Now, here's the columns of the fact table. So it's a pretty typical fact table. You see it's got you know, a date column. It's got several dimension key columns like user ID, user profile ID, offer ID, media ID, and some measure columns like price retail. So um, let's look at the indexes on this table. So you see that the indexes on the purchase table, there's two of them. There's CI underscore date. That's a clustered B tree index on date. That's a typical type of index that you would put on a data warehouse fact table uh, before the introduction of column stores. NCCI is a non-clustered column store index. So essentially that's, that's a second copy of all the data in the B tree, but it's stored in the column based format, column by column, instead of uh, row by row. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this query. Let's see here. Hang on one second. I'll switch to a simpler query. So this query right here that I've highlighted, you can see that's a very simple star join style data warehouse query that's just got one fact and one dimension, and it's got group by and aggregation. So there's a, a query hint here called ignore non-clustered column store index, and what this is going to do is going to tell it don't use the column store indexes. So it'll run the same way it ran in SQL Server 2008, R2, and earlier. So I'm going to execute this. So this is a 101 million row fact table. So it, that query doesn't have any date range filters. So it had to scan the entire table. And it took nine seconds and produced a little over 1,400 rows. So now I'm going to run it again, but I'm not going to use this hint. I'll comment out this hint. I'll just run this part. Bam! Did you see that? I mean, the query came back instantaneously when I clicked. And it's, it's really incredible. I'm going to turn statistics time on. And we'll look at the summary statistics of time of execution. So I clicked again. It's just instantaneous. I did a full scan of the table with grouping and aggregation 
in split second time on a, on a desktop PC. It's 101 million rows. So the, see the total CPU time used was 731 milliseconds across all threads, and the elapsed time was 242 milliseconds, so just about a quarter of a second. So, you know, if we saw nine seconds versus a quarter of a second, so that's about a 36 times speed up. So that's kind of in the ballpark of this typical speed ups you can get if you've got a, a properly designed column store index and your queries are, are sort of in the sweet spot for a column store index. Rachel, could you see the, the demo okay? Yeah, I could definitely see it. Is there any way to make the font a little bigger? I can try. Let's see. Okay. I mean, I could definitely see it clearly. It's just, you know, the text is, I'm assuming 12-point font, so. Ah, Aaron is suggesti suggesting that you go to Tools and Options. Tools, Options. Aaron, you know where we go from there? Fonts and colors? Probably. Oh, oh there we go. go. Perfect. Ah, so much better. Thank you very much, Eric. Okay. Thank you. Is that Aaron Wilker? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, So I'll, I'm going to go back and show a couple other more complicated queries. Like here is a more complicated query that um, has the purchase table, that's the fact table, a date dimension, me, and a media dimension, and it's got some filters on date and on uh, media. So this is a database of information about movie ticket sales. So suppose I want to know horror, action, comedy ticket sales in this two-month period. Let's try this. So that was just instantaneous. 